Hello! Today I'm going to be painting an abstract painting and I'm only using two colors. Right now I am using my favorite blue which is a phthalo blue. The canvas that you see right there is actually a canvas that I used before but I didn't like what I put down uh, and painted. So I put a layer of gesso over it and then once the gesso was put down on the canvas, I then went over it with a roller. So that way, you can't really tell now, but under that blue, there's a bunch of nooks and crannies and some texture. But right now, what I want to do is get my first layer of paint down. And of course, you always want to make sure that your gesso is fully dried before you start painting. So here... I have laid down my phthalo blue and now I'm going back after having cleaned my brush and I'm just lifting some of that color. I don't need it to be quite so thick everywhere, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting into all those crevices and those nooks and crannies that I mentioned before because I want the blue to cover everything. The texture will be important later, but right now I'm just making sure that I'm getting a good layer down and covering everything. So once I've done that, I am now spraying or spritzing my canvas with the blue and then rollering over <laughs> with my little mini roller over everywhere that I just sprayed. And so what that's doing is wherever those droplets fell, it's pulling up that paint by the roller and so that's creating a little bit of dimension and interest too with the paint by pulling that up so nothing will be white underneath because i made sure that the paint got everywhere and i still have all those nice little grooves that are on the canvas but i just want to pull it up to where it's interesting to me and kind of where i feel like i have enough that i've pulled up so I'm just getting on those edges too, because can't forget those edges. All right, so now I'm getting ready with the second color that I'm using, which is my titanium white. And I am at the end of my tube, so you can see I kind of had to squeeze that out. And then I just grabbed my catalyst wedge and I'm just scraping it across my canvas. And so now you get a better idea of all of that texture that I had under the blue because the flatness of the catalyst wedge is allowing that to be caught in those nice grooves, but not everything. So it's kind of hitting that surface and then the blue is still showing underneath uh, and all those nice divots and nooks and crannies. So I want to cover a good portion while still being able to see the blue. So I'm just kind of flattening that catalyst wedge and scraping that titanium white on there. And I feel like there's still a little too much blue showing. So I'm adding a little bit more of the white and putting that down on the canvas over the blue. I really love my catalyst wedge. It's a fun tool to use. Uh, it's great to scrape. Here you could have used a palette knife, but I feel like that would have overtaken all my little nooks and crannies, and so I wanted something a little bit more flat. Um, so I, I wanted to use my catalyst wedge for that. So now it looks like I just immediately put tape on, uh, but there was a drying phase. Uh, in between there because you want to make sure that your paint is fully dry before you put on any kind of tape because if it is not dry it will pull up that paint when you pull your tape up. So right now what I'm doing is I just put two layers of tape down and now I have more phthalo blue that I just put on my palette paper and that white substance is not white paint what that is is a matte medium. And matte medium is great because it allows you to use a color that you want, like my phthalo blue, and then help thin it 
to a point where it still has good texture, but you can now see through the paint. So it's not quite so thick. It's a little bit thinned out and transparent, but without losing the potency of the color, I guess is a good way of putting that. So I really enjoy using matte mediums, especially if I want to get some color down, but I, and I want to be able to see through it, but I still want to keep the vibrancy of the color which I think here you can see that it does that really well. So I'm just mixing my phthalo blue with the matte medium and I'm going over the spots that are not covered by the tape. And what's really great is you can still see through that blue into all those interesting pieces uh, that are underneath that, that layer. And so I'm gonna do that for all four sections not covered by the tape. And the brush that I'm using here is, uh, I want to say it's my one inch flat brush. And anywhere it seems like uh, I have a little too many little grooves in there. I cover it up because I don't want any white to show through. It's okay if it's a lighter shade of the blue, but I don't want any of the white to show through because that's what's going to show through under the tape once I pull it up. And I'm not worried about any of my paint strokes showing. There's enough interest underneath the paint that it's not going to be distracting and you can barely tell anyway. So I'm just really trying to get the paint on on the next layer. All right, so now that I have my layers down of the, the blue on top of the white, now what I want to do to create just a little bit of dimension and depth is darken the areas just below, or not below, but just on the edges of where the tape are is. <laughs> uh, and what this does is if my light source is directly above, it just helps trick the eye a little bit to think that the, the darker parts are a little bit further away or are a little bit deeper. And so I'm doing that for all four of the sections. Again, those are the places that are closest to the tape. And I'm going in the same order that I painted my blue layers because I also want to give the paint a little bit of drying time because if the paint is too wet then I'm not really adding another layer I'm just pushing the paint around alright and it looks like I'm about finished with that layer so what I'm going to do once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the top layer of the tape. And so now you can see that here you can still see the white. And so I'm going to go ahead and really thin out that blue. So I'm using a lot more matte medium and then a lot less of the blue so that it's a lighter blue. And then going over that white strip so that way it still remains bright. You can tell that it's still above the rest of the layers of blue. And then just darkening the edges that are closest to the tape, like I did for the other parts. And then once that's good, I take off my last layer and that is it. And so I did some nice close-ups because from the 
distance that we were before with the camera, you couldn't really see all those little pieces of texture and like those nooks and crannies and divots. And so it's a lot cooler close up. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.